It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No. So, Christmas time is almost coming up, guys. And that means, of course, you know, aside from the fact that it's not snowing, at least where I live, it's not snowing, uh, that everybody is going to be buying Christmas presents. Um, of course, if you're into the whole Christmas thing, not everybody does celebrate Christmas, I know that, but um, people who do celebrate it, usually, you know, they buy presents and they, uh, they do stuff for their loved ones. But I have been thinking about what would be like the ultimate Christmas present for myself. Now, this may not come as a surprise, but if I had the money and the opportunities, I would probably buy myself a new car for Christmas. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not because I don't like my Toyota Paseo. It's an awesome little car. Actually, I really love it because it's just, it's so cute. So, I would probably still keep that car, but I would buy maybe a more, you know, fuel efficient, more economical, more modern car. Uh, since it's almost 2019 and I'm thinking a lot about you know climate change global warming I mean these issues have really been rising in the last few years and I, I personally really believe that global warming and climate change is a real thing some people may disagree with me um, I don't know how, how you feel about climate change if you think it's a real thing uh, but if I'm looking at the weather in my country, I live in the Netherlands, which is normally a, a very cool country. Our summers tend to be cool. Our winters in the past used to be, you know, snowy and cold. Nowadays, I mean, usually it doesn't really even freeze anymore in winter. Like maybe some days in the winter you have a few days where the temperature dips below zero and the wind comes from the east and it gets a little cold. But that just usually lasts for like a couple of days and then it's done and then we're back to like plus seven plus eight degrees centigrade so it's not it's never like really cold anymore and also last year summer was like really hot and super dry uh, all across Europe by the way not only in the Netherlands but all across Europe uh, it was really extremely warm and dry so I've been thinking like what would it be like to own an electric car I'm absolutely for electric vehicles even though I know that they have limitations and you know environmentally they're not perfect either because you know the batteries are not not very good for the environment and you know to assemble an electric car is actually not that great for the environment so I know there's pros and cons uh, but in the long run if you place an electric car versus a gasoline car uh, the electric car will in the long run be uh, a lot better for the environment now I'm thinking like why in almost 2019 are electric cars still not really the norm? Like why aren't they evolving quicker? Why aren't more people driving electric cars? I mean I don't know the numbers in, in all the countries so where you live I have no idea what the, what the numbers are on electric vehicles but over here in Holland it, it is like below I think 5% of all cars like maybe even below 3% I don't, I'll look it up I'll, I'll look it up somewhere here but I think it's a really low number of electric vehicles still driving around in this country and I'm thinking why like why can't electric cars get get cheaper I mean I can get a gasoline car for under a thousand euros like that easily I can go, go online right now and, and buy a gasoline car for eight or nine hundred euros and yeah sure it'll probably be a beater and it's not gonna be a pretty car but it will drive it'll do its thing and it'll get me from A to B there's no freaking way in hell I can get an electric car for 900 euros I'm not expecting it to get it for that cheap but it's not even possible to get like an electric car for 3,000 or 4,000 euros it's not even possible to get an electric car for five or six thousand euros you need to go even higher than that to get like a second-hand electric car and then you will have like one of the earlier models from like four or five years ago which are useless because they have like a range of maybe 100 kilometers that is just useless it's not gonna work for me and I bet that most people will, will see it that way you know I just want to do this video about this topic because I feel like it's becoming a big problem nowadays uh, with the environment and you know global warming and all that shit and all the, the crap we're looking at all the plastic in the oceans god we're really making a mess of things I and mean, this is not going well for us as a species like human beings we're being assholes to our planet right now really we are <laughs> hope you had uh, fun watching this video see you guys in the next one peace